Hey guys, welcome back to another Latent, Professor Latent, and the Curious Village. Uh, so we just finished our, our previous video. We just finished doing the puzzle of this guy. Um, his name is Percy. So we just finished with him. So let's investigate this little street here. Um, anything that we can get some more coins? Yeah, that's right. Feels so good trying to find all these puzzles. Some more hint coins. Nice, nice. I got a few here. I'm gonna need all these hint coins later on, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think, anything I missed? No, I don't wanna talk to you already. No, Percy. Keep looking at your watch. Why would you be carrying a watch or looking at it? There's a big giant watch clock like up ahead. Just look up. You don't really need to look at your watch all the time, you know? Okay, there's nothing special. I think I got all of it. Oh, what here? Oh, what's this? That look, that clock tower is rather worse for the wear. Speaking of clocks, I've just got a puzzle for you. Admittedly, it concerns a little more modern type of clock, but never mind that minor detail. Okay, Professor Layton, I guess you gotta. You got a puzzle for me, huh? Okay. Imagine a digital clock like the one shown below. How many times will the clock display three or more of the same number in a row over the course of one day? In case you were wondering, the clock in this puzzle displays time on a 12-hour scale, not on military time. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. So let's see, um, imagine a digital clock like the one shown below. How many times will the clock display three or more of the same number? Okay, uh, let's see, three or more, so one, one o'clock, wow, this is my writing is really bad. Let's erase this for a second. Can I erase? Let's try it again, yeah, one. One o'clock? Yeah, 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 that's right, yeah, I think so. Okay, zero, zero, well, why can I not write anything? Okay, zero, one, zero, no, uh, oh, I know, zero, one, one, zero, two, two, zero, three, three, zero, four, four, zero, five, five, zero, six, six, no, zero, seven, seven, no, zero, eight, no, nine, nine. Zero nine nine no ten yeah that's right so ten zero zero that works because it has three zeros how about eleven eleven twelve does twelve twelve works two two one two no Okay. Twelve twenty-two. How about that? Twelve twenty-two. That works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times two is eighteen. There should be more. Twelve. 22 Let me think 11 No Zero 09 
Oh, I know. Um, one. So it's eleven. Twelve. Eleven. Thirteen. Because it still has like the one 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 thing. One one four. Four. One one five. Okay. So. Eleven twelve. 11, 13, 11, 14, 11, 15, 11, 16, 11, 17, 11, 18, that's a lot, okay, um, 19, 11, 19, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 20, I got it, so then you times it by 2 because it's a.m. and p.m., so that should be... Because it's AM, PM. Okay, let's just try that. I don't know if it's right or not. Is it? Correct! Yeah, that's right. The hard part was was the 11. That was a little bit tricky. That was tricky, actually. Yeah. I thought it was some. I thought it was going to be like 12 something. That was a tricky one. Very good. A series of three or more of the same digit appears 34 times over the course of 24 hours. See the chart above for details. It's easy enough to spot times like 111 or 222, but many people forget about combinations like 10 or 1112. That's right. Precisely. The answer I was looking for, Luke. Well done, my boy. Thank you, Professor. So now let's head east, west, south, north, west, south, east, that's right, east, we're heading east. Professor, look at that man standing on the street. Well, it's not polite to look, Luke, it's not polite. He's blocking the path up to Reinhold Manor, how terribly rude. Oh yeah, that is rude, why don't we just like push him or kick him? He wouldn't even know, right? He looks kind of blind. Perhaps he'll move for us, but I have a feeling he has no intention of doing anything of the sort. Well, let's beat him up. It's two against one, right? <laughs> he's, I think he's, is he like a little drunk? Cause he's like waving back and forth like a flag right now and, and speaking to a wall. We've got some coins. Let's just search the place for it before we talk to him. I'm afraid. He's a little crazy. Should we be on our way to Right Home Manor? No, Luke. We shouldn't. We should just keep on looking. For some coins. I want some coins. Okay, well, I guess we gotta talk to him now. Hold up. Never seen you here before. What a couple of fresh faces like you ourselves doing here. We're here by invitation of the Reinhold. Now if you excuse us. We have a business through the gate. Business with the Reinholds. Is that so? Something strange here. Yeah. You're a fishy pair. Hmm. I don't trust you. That's for sure. But I'll let you pass if you can solve the riddle, see. Just to warn you. It's a tough one. It's gonna be... Isn't gonna be easy, is it? No way, no way, definitely not gonna be easy. Hey, what kind of puzzle is it? Oh, it's the weight one. Uh, okay. Here we have eight small weights that all look the same. However, one of the weights in the group is slightly lighter than the rest. Using this scale two times, you can find out which of these weights is lighter than the rest. So which weight is the light one? Okay. Note the weight you want to measure onto the scale by dragging them into the position with your finger. When you finish arranging the weights, press the red button to weigh them. If both sides stay level, it means the load on both sides of the scale are of equal weight. Once you've found the right weight, place it 
in the answer area and tap submit. Okay. Let's see. Okay, how about that? I don't think it really matters whether... Oh, it just automatically puts it for you. Is that it? Okay, how about that? Okay. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Restart. So... the same okay uh wait what i forgot what is it one and two right three and four oh sorry Back. what one and two three and four hmm i think even if we put this, it would be the same still, right? So that means one of this is heavier. Wait, sorry, three and four is level. One and two. Three and four is level. Five and six. Okay, okay. Uh, five and six. Five. Is it? <gasps> no! Too bad. The light weight changes each time you try the problem. Think about it. Think about what you need to do and try again. Try again. Okay. How about that? Man, I'm so disappointed in myself. This should be an easy one. thinking about heaviness I wasn't thinking about lightness okay we start so one two three four so this 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 so between seven and eight right so seven Yes! The smile at the end. I know we got it right. Woo! Baby! That's right. To solve this puzzle with no guesswork, you must load three weights on each side of the scale for your first measurement. If you manage to get that far, the rest should be easy. That's true. Huh. Not bad. Not half bad. Pretty sharp bunch, aren't ya? Fair of good. Sharp apples of two, you. So, have we satisfied you? Maybe pass now. Of course you can pass. Move along. And you better make sure to give my regard to Lady Dahlia. No, I know we won't. Goodbye, sir. You're a strange man looking at the wall and talking to yourself. So let's, let's go forward. Hey, how look the strange little man waiting on the boat. Can't we just swim across? Like, I feel like we gotta talk to him too. And solve some puzzles. I'm pretty sure that we can. Uh, the garden's big, but there's not so 
not much to do looking here. There's gotta be some. T oh, nice. Got some coins. Okay, so let's see. Oh! What's this? Your final puzzle solving charm. Let's check it out. Charm? What is it? Charm 29. Classic cologne. Puzzle points obtained. 100. Ooh, that's nice. Is there any other ones? No. Guess we gotta go talk to the strange man, huh? It's Ramona. And you, and just who you, might you be? My name is Leighton, and this is my assistant. We received an invitation to visit Reinhold Manor. And yes, yes, ah hoo ho ho. We've all been expecting you, Professor Leighton. But ah hoo ho. You have to excuse my skepticism. Can't trust anyone these days, you know? For all I know, you could just be another hoo hoo hooligan in a top hat. A hoo hoo hoo. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> really? <laughs> and so, how do you I know you're the real Leighton? Did you hear that, Professor? The nerve of this fellow! Surely you aren't going to go through with this after an insult like that? Now, now, Luke, settle down. Sir, are you saying that you'd like to test me to see if I'm the real Professor Layton? Precisely, Professor Layton. Now, if you don't mind, would you please solve this puzzle for me? All right then, strange man, let's see. Oh, it's a classic fairy across the whole river puzzle, let's see. Get the three wolves and the three chickens seen below to the other side of the river while obeying the following conditions. 1. No more than two animals can ride the raft at the same time. 2. There must be at least one animal on the raft in order for it to move. 3. If more wolves than chicks stays on either side of the river, the wolves will eat the chicks and you'll have to start over. You can move the raft as many times as you can like. But this feat can be accomplished in as few as 11 moves. Alright. Load animals. We got it. Got this. What this? Okay. Um. What that? Oh no! Oh, that's right! That's right! Okay, restart. Okay. Bring him back. Oh no! That's not. I don't think that's a good idea. Now it's gonna be. No, it's not gonna work because he's gonna be. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's let's try the chicks first then. No, okay. Restart. Go to no, that won't work. Let's see here. Hmm. 
That's not gonna work. Okay. What? Okay, now what? Now what? I can't do that, because then the wolves would... I can't do that, because if we sent back... Can it? We still can't. See, we can't. Okay. Let's see what we can do. How about here and here? Go that. Come back. Uh, here. Here? No, because it'll be. F Let's try it. Now, this and this. This, this. birds no okay there we go we got it we got it ah finally Woo. that took me a little bit than I thought well done this puzzle can be solved in, a f in as few as 11 trips how many trips did it take you? Uh, it took me a while. Fun facts time. There are several variations of this type of river crossing puzzle, and they've appeared in writing dating back to over 1,000 years ago. It's a history in the books, huh? Uh, ho, ho, ho. Do excuse my earlier rudeness. Let me show you to the matter. Everyone's waiting for you. Everyone? I was under the impression that Lady Dahlia was the only person expecting me. Right, this way, please. Well then, we're getting the VIP treatment now, huh? Because of the puzzle. Uh, what do we do now? Oh, we got something here. I'm just gonna press as many but. Wow, look at the flowers! Surely they're pretty. Indeed they are. I'm sure someone put a lot of work into raising them. Oh, that reminds me. Would you like to hear a puzzle about raising flowers? No? You bet, Professor. Let's hear it. Okay. Alfred and Roland have been hired by a farm to sow flower seeds. They've been assigned a 10-acre plot of land and split it in half. So they can work independently, so they're both working half, okay? Roland starts from the east and Alfred from the west. Alfred can plow the land at the rate of 20 minutes per acre. Roland takes 40 minutes to plow, but sows seeds at the three times the seed Alfred does. If sowing seeds on the 10 acre plot pays 100, how much of that money should go to Roland? You know what, guys? I'm, I'm, I literally do not know. Like, this kind of stuff. I don't know, but I'm just going to go half because they should earn half because it's, you know, equality. I'm just going for it. Let's see. Is it? <laughs> I got it right? Really? I just assume it's 50-50 because the other guy's working 50 and the, the, Roland's working 50. So they should pay half. Correct. Good looking, Luke. Wow. I didn't know. Well then. Thank you, Professor. Let's go to the manor. 
Is this the matter, Professor? Whoa, look at that. It's positively gigantic. You look at the size of that. It certainly seems like we've come to the right place. Reinhold Manor waits. Solved. The professor and Luke finally arrive at Reinhold Manor. Let's head in, shall we? Yes, sir. All right, let's first see if there's anything I should. Uh, I guess we're already inside then. Okay. Oh, Matthew. Uh, hmm. Welcome to Reinhold Manor. Thank you for coming. I'm Matthew, butler and servant to the Reinhold family. Everyone's waiting upstairs for you. Ah, before you go, I have a message for Lady Dahlia. She has requested that you take a look at this puzzle. Please do not ta be taken back. Madame has a strange sense of priority sometimes. To move a match, hold it by its center and drag it. To rotate a match, touch one of its end and drag it. Go on, try it. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the puzzle. This might be a hard one, huh? The match below are arranged in the shape of a dog. This poor little guy was just minding his own business when a car came barreling down the road and ran into him over. Move two matches to change the pictures so that it shows the dog after the accident. All puzzles are a matter of perspective, so don't assume that you'll be looking at this dog from the side by the time you finish with this one. Okay. Move two matches. Okay. Alright, let's just think about it. So, if this is a dog, we're looking on the side. And if it's run over by a car, it should be flattened, right? Okay, so let's see. Like that. Maybe. No, that doesn't make any sense because the legs are still there. So let's restart. So we gotta move the legs then. Because it's flattened, right? How do you rotate this? Does that make any sense? to you? Maybe. To me it does. So now it's flattened. Submit. No? Try again. Because the dog was hit by a car, it's probably not walking anymore. While it's all terribly sad, try to think about how the dog looks. Try again. Oh man. Let's look, okay. The legs, it's gotta be the legs. That's what I'm thinking, like this? This makes more sense. Not very good with puzzle, guys. 
How about here? That one looks better. Come on, smile. Yeah! Got it. <laughs> okay. The car flattened the poor dog. Let this be a lesson to be aware of your surrounding when driving. That's absolutely correct. My commendation, sir. Again, I do apologize for the changes of the requests. Now, please walk this way. We mustn't keep Lady Dahlia and company waiting. Thank you, butler. Alright guys, you know what? I'm gonna call it a video. Thanks for watching and solving these puzzles with me. It's a challenge, yes. And, um... You know, well, it sucks that I couldn't get them right away quickly. But... We got them done anyway, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for some more content of Layton and the Curious Village. So, I'll see you guys next time for some more puzzle challenge.